Number 59. At a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius, the vapor pressure of water is 0.196 atm. What is the value of the equilibrium constant Kp for the vaporization equilibrium at 60 degrees Celsius? And then they give us this formula. So I'm just going to write this out a little bit bigger, right? So we got H2O, which is a liquid, and this comes to equilibrium with H2O as a gas. So we have water basically coming to equilibrium with steam. Okie dokie. Now they're asking for an actual number, a value, for the equilibrium constant Kp. And the Kp formula is a generalized formula, which is this one, right? Maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger. Now Kp, remember, is just the, pr the, the pressure of the products divided by the pressure of the reactants. And for both of them, you just have to raise it to its coefficients. But there's a catch. Not a catch, but we just got to play by the rules. If we're using Kp, only aqueous and gases are allowed in this formula. Go check your states out. Oh, I got a liquid, but then I have a gas. Do we even care about this one in our formula? Is H2O liquid going to be in the Kp formula? Absolutely not. So you could maybe put a little x here, or to be more dramatic, let's just slash through the whole thing. <laughs> right? Whatever number this is, it's not going to go into the Kp formula. This one is low, however, because it's a gas. Now let's see what they told us. They just told us that at this 60 degrees Celsius, we did have a vapor pressure of water at 0 0.196 atm. Vapor is basically another way for saying a gas, right? Water vapor is gaseous water. So this 0 0.196 atm, that's this number right here, one point. Oh, sorry, one, 0 0.196 atm. And now we have a value at equilibrium, right? I'm saying that it's equilibrium because they did state that at 60 degrees Celsius, the pressure was this. And then they're asking for what is the equilibrium constant at this temperature? So it's the same temp. We didn't do anything to the system. So I'm going to treat this as an equilibrium value. So I'm just going to say that these are at equilibrium. Remember, only equilibrium values are allowed in here. So that's why it's super important to know, is this an equilibrium value or is this initial one? But this is equilibrium, so we're all good. Let's write out the Kp expression for this formula. Products over reactants, but since we don't care about this one, we're not going to include it. So it's just products, right? And Kp would just be equal to the pressure of the H2O. And since there was no number, remember that just means that there's one of them. So I can raise this to the first, but I don't have to. And then this would be divided by technically the reactants, but since I don't have any gaseous reactants, I just need a placeholder here, right? What number is going to go in the denominator? Yeah, just a one. But if I have anything divided by one, it's itself. So I can just get rid of this. And now the Kp just equals to this pressure. That was pretty simple, guys. Let's, let's just put this over here, right? Kp equals 0 0.196. I didn't need to square anything. I didn't even need to do any math. The only thing, though, is there's two things that I want to say. The first thing is that any K value has no units. It is unit less. So... I, even though there was ATM here, the K values, you strip away that unit. So it would just be point not a 196. The second thing is that if you notice, we had temperature values, but did I use that in my equation? No, I didn't. Sometimes they're going to give you more numbers than you need, but don't get scared. You guys got this. Trust the formula. And if the formula doesn't say anything about temperature, pay absolutely no mind to it. All right, so there you go, guys. This one was pretty easy. What did you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. We're almost at 15,000 subs, and it's absolutely incredible. We wouldn't be here without you guys, so thank you so much for that. We just reached 3,000 videos on the channel. So basically, you know, by us working hard, 
and doing thousands of problems, that's how you get good at a subject, right? So we're doing 3,000 problems. That's why we could teach it to you like this. So all you got to do is just keep working hard, all right? And then you guys are going to do great. So let's keep working, keep with the videos, and I will see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.